my name is Chris Wall with The Wall Network and today I'm going to go over how to set up LACP in a vSphere 5.1 distributed switch. Now we're going to go over both the virtual switch config and the physical switch config for my uh, lab's HP V1910 switch. Realistically it doesn't matter what your physical switch is as long as it supports LACP. Now for the virtual environment there's two main things that we have to do. If you look at the screen in front of you, I've got uh, the VDS-LACP distributed switch highlighted. It's running one virtual machine called Windows 8, and it's kind of a, a brand new bone stock switch, if you will, uh, with no configurations uh, done outside of just your normal creation. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that the port group that this machine is living on, which is this the only port group you see, test LACP, we want to make sure that the uh, teaming policy on that is set to IP hash. Uh, so let's go in and edit that port group now and make the change. So click on teaming and failover. And we're at the default run right now, route based on virtual port ID. We want to change that to IP hash. Um, so that's the first thing. You also want to make sure that all the uplinks are active. Uh, and you can't really, there, there's no ability to do beacon probing or anything like that. You have to keep it kind of bone stock except for IP hash. And a little I button pops up here letting you know that you have to be using link aggregation for this to be successful. So I'll click OK. It's going to make that change. The other thing we have to do is turn on LACP. By default, uh, if we click on the uplinks here, by default the LACP is, turn is disabled. So I'll click on the LACP uh, menu here. We want to make sure that it's enabled. And I'm going to go ahead and set it to active mode, which means it's going to actively reach out to its partner ports, you know, where it's actually plumbed into a physical switch to try to uh, form an LACP group. Um, I guess you could leave it passive and just let the other side be active, but I'm going to go ahead and go with active. So click OK on that. And at this point you've done everything you need to on your virtual side. And interestingly enough, I have a, a ping going here. You're still going to be able to ping and you're not going to lose network connectivity uh, by doing this. It's just you're not actually uh, in an LACP group yet. Uh, so you can see here I'm just pinging the VM. So now we're going to go to the physical side and form the partner side, the physical partners uh, configuration so that it's also in LACP. Uh, so in the V1910 that's under link aggregation and we're just going to create a new link aggregation group. Now while that's loading I'm leveraging uh, LLDP here so if I needed to, uh, let's go to the host that's here. I could go into my switches here once it loads and I could if I didn't know what the ports were what they're plumbed into I could hit the information button here and go to LLDP and it would actually tell me uh, we're on switch 1 port 15 for the first dump link and the other one should be port 16 uh, so that would tell me which ports which physical ports on the switch I need to enable link aggregation for so I'm going to make a link aggregation group. By default, it's going to just give the next number in the list, which is 2. Make sure to select dynamic, which is LACP. And I'm going to pick ports 15 and 16 here. It's going to tell me it's going to form group 2 with ports 15 and 16. That's fine. I'm going to apply it. And then there we go. We've got, uh, if I go to summary here, we'll see we have a new link aggregation group 2. And it was successful because both ports are in selected instead of standby which means they're they're currently operational uh, if you forget to do the LACP on the uplinks on the virtual side so let's just go through that real quick if I were to go into the the network piece here um, and let's say I forgot to enable LACP so let's disable it real quick let's show you what that behavior looks like okay so what's gonna happen let me refresh this is it's not going to form the LACP group. What you might see is one port will be selected and the other one standby, something like that, but you're going to be in a state where we're not able to ping this machine. You can see that the requests are timing out. So that's a good indication if you see the group not forming correctly that uh, you just forgot to enable LACP on the uplinks. So let's go ahead and turn that back on. Set it back to the way it was. And you can see it forms the uh, LACP group pretty quickly. We should be able to ping it within, there we go, a second or two. Um, so you're going to suffer uh, a minor outage on that, uh, unless you're really quick. Just be aware 
that uh, this may be a good idea to do a rolling maintenance mode on your host so that uh, nothing on that physical host is being interrupted and just kind of roll it through uh, the host in your network instead of making the change with active VMs. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it's been educational. If you'd like to see more of the same, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog at wallnetwork.com. Thank you.